Good afternoon everyone, it's Cathy here. Welcome to my channel this Sunday afternoon. I've come along today to show you a package of Happy Mail that I have received from a wonderful company who's based in the UK called Time for Tea Designs. Um, they're based in Yorkshire, which is up north from me in the UK. And um, they do some absolutely lovely products, some fantastic stamps with adorable characters and images and some good quality dyes as well. The company is uh, owned, uh, was founded by a lovely lady called Joanna Davies and she is also not only the founder of Time for Tea Designs but she is also the artist of all the designs and the characters so she actually designed all the little cute characters and images and they were all hand drawn by herself before she went into production, turning them into stamps. And the stamps are actually made from photopolymer and they look and feel very good quality stamps. And they've got some lovely images, as I say. Um, it was my birthday last week, so I decided what better time um, to treat myself than to get some of the images that I've been looking at the website for and uh, following the links on Facebook and I actually watched the live Facebook live launch of the stamps for this January release. This is a new January release. Um, and I was so taken with them that I couldn't decide what not to buy. There wasn't anything that I didn't want to buy. I wanted to buy everything. But obviously finances didn't allow. So I just bought what I could actually afford at the time. So the first little collection I've got here which was the first one I bought I bought the stamps and the coordinating dies that go with it and this one is called enjoy the little things and it's got some lovely little Im images on there we've got a little rabbit here that's holding a little bunch of carrots we've got a cute little dog who's got a string of sausages he looks like he's running off with those so maybe he shouldn't have he wasn't actually given those he might have just stolen them um, from the local butchers and then in the middle we've got a little mouse who's in a shopping trolley with a couple of baguettes or a couple of french sticks so he's got a big smile on his face so he's obviously got his lunch sorted out we've got a squirrel up the top who's looking quite plump and quite happy holding on to his acorn and then we've got a cat who's looks very happy with her bag of fish and so those are the main images on this stamp plate. And then we've got some small embellishments that you could use for added, added features on there. We've got a, a big chunk of cheese. We've got a little bone for the dog and another little bread roll or baguette. We've got a tiny little acorn down the bottom there. And then we've got a little carrot that's there. And we've got another fish and another sausage on there. And there's some lovely sentiments on here as well. So it says, enjoy the little things. Hope your day is a real, and you can have the word treat. Got the word treat over there. And we've got yum. And then you've got the word enjoy. And then you could put that together with yourself. So enjoy yourself. And the nice thing, of having the dies, you can buy the dies separately to the stamps if you like to do fussy cutting and you don't really want them to be cut out. Um, so they are available separate on the website, um, but if you buy them as a set, like I did, the, the stamps with the matching dies, then you get a little bit of discount there. It becomes a little bit cheaper to buy that way, which is really nice. And then the second one I've got here, I really thought this was quite sweet. It's called We Go Together. So it might be something nice for Valentine's Day. We've got Valentine's Day coming up. So we've got a toaster there and a little piece of toast that looks like some a splatter of jam in the middle. And there's a couple of little embellishments there that you can put on to add to the toaster or the, or the toast. 
or the pears or the donut and you've got one that's got a little smiley face and some eyes and then underneath that it's got a pair of closed eyes with a little moustache and then up the top we've got a pie which has also got like a ring of steam above so it looks like the pie is nice and piping hot we've got another little face there with a smiley face with closed eyes and then we've got a tiny little X and O for hugs and kisses on there and then the sentiments on this stamp I thought was a nice play on words first one I've got is I don't know what I do without you so I could go with your donut and we go together like toast and jam we are the perfect pair and you're a, you, a real cutie pie so as I say that would be lovely just to for Valentine's Day or just to send you know, just sort of saying, thinking of you to a friend or a loved one. Really cute. And that's the matching dies. And the nice thing I like about the dies from Time for Tea is that you also get the dies to match the sentiments. So it's like the pairs there. That one would go with We Are the Perfect Pair and that would fit nicely just there to go with that one. And it's quite nice to have the, the sentiment dies as well because a lot of companies don't don't give you the dies to cut out the sentiments as well. So that's quite handy. And the next one I bought was this one. And this one is called the Sweet Village Stamp Set. And you've got some nice what look like little houses on there. But you can also turn them into shops if you want to. So you could have a little street of shops. And they've got a place there to put the names of the shop on there. And they've also got a little plate there to put a stamp also of the uh, title of shop. And then on the sentiments here, we've got, we've got diner and we've got ice cream. Um, we've got cafe and sweets and patisserie and pets. And then for your added embellishments, you have a little pussycat there, a little dog, what looks like either a, an iced coffee or a frappe, a little tree, looks like another ice cream sundae perhaps, a little topiary tree there. And it's very small, I hope you can see that, very small little baguette on there. So that's really cute. And there's a little arrow there so you can show the way to one of the shops. And then up the top here, the little embellishments is a, a little coffee cup, an ice cream cone, just a little, that's a travel coffee cup sort of thing, takeaway coffee, uh, a coffee cup and a little sweet. It's like a little candy there really really cute and then the next one i bought was this one and this is the cafe critters stamp set again with the matching dies see that there and this one's got like a little coffee shop or a little tea shop looks like a quaint english tea shop where it's got two little cups there and one of the little stands for the cakes for afternoon tea. And it's got a ruched curtain on it and one of the um, blinds that you pull down in the English shops, which are normally stripy. Um, you have an uh, old Vic Victorian looking street lamp on there. And then you've got a little bunny and again a cat holding looks like he's holding a little cup and then there's a little dog and then you have a little bistro type table there with a couple of chairs and Joanna actually um, designed the stamps um, the little bunnies and so that they're able and the cat they're able to sit on the chairs so it looks as though they're doing a bit of it. Al fresco tea shop dining 
And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I'm guessing um, that that was possibly her inspiration for the name of the company, Time for Tea. Because as far as I'm aware, um, sometime in the, in the past, she used to own a tea shop. So that's possibly was her inspiration for the name of the company, which I think is, is really quite cute in itself. So that's the stamp and die sets that I bought. And then along with those, I bought some standalone dies, which I thought were really lovely. And the first one I've got here is the joined Love You Lots on there. So that's the Love You Lots large sentiment die. That's really lovely. Again, perfect for Valentine's Day. And then we've got the Intertwined Love. That's what it says in there. Sentiment die is love intertwined on there, so that's really nice. And the nice thing about this is because it's intertwined, you can actually cut it out a few times and put different colours so you can actually paper piece. And I've, I've never done paper piecing before, but um, I got a lot of inspiration by watching the Facebook Live on Time, to Z, uh, Time for Tea Designs. So it's given me some inspiration now to, to have a go at paper piecing. And then I bought... This was in another package. I bought some, I wanted some nesting dies, some layering dies. And what I intended to do was buy the A6, because A6 is the UK measurement that we use. Um, and I think in the US, you use one of your popular um, card sizes is an, is an A2. So an A6 is very similar to an A2. I think it's slightly taller. Um, so I actually should have bought the A6 layering dies and the A6 framing dies. But instead of that, I bought the A2 layering dies. So I've actually got them in A2 and A6, which is not a problem because obviously it gives me a lot more dies to use, which is lovely. And I've noticed, because I, I never really knew the difference between the A6 and the A2, but now I do. I think with the A2, it's very, very slightly shorter than the A6, but it's probably a tiny bit wider than the A6. But it's, I think it's quite nice that they do it in A2 sizes as well. So, you know, they'll be quite useful for the American market as well. And the last one I bought was this one because what I've seen with some of the, the cute character cards is the popular size of card now is like a slimline card or a DL, which is what we call them in the UK. So I bought some slimline layering dies as well. So there you go, you've got simple slimline nesting dies. So that's what I bought here. Now, the lovely thing about Time for Tea Designs is they not only um, ship to the UK, um, they also ship um, to countries that are within the EU and the rest of the world. And obviously the postage costs are just different for wherever it is that you are. Um, if for the American market, um, I think Time for Tea Design actually stock one of their distrib... Uh, dis I can't even say the word. One of their distributors for the US is, I think it's the only one they've got at the moment, but that is only a guess. And that is Simon Says Stamp. So I think Simon Says Stamp actually stocks a lot of the time for tea designs, which is really good for the US market. Um, in, in, in Europe, they have a distributor, um, I think it's called Craft Lines BV. And obviously in the UK, I think they've got seven other UK distributors um, and then number eight would obviously be Time for Tea. So they've got about eight different companies that um, will stock their designs, which is lovely. Um, what I will do at the end of this video is I will I will link all the um, the addresses in the description box. So I will put the information about Simon Says Stamp and I will also link the um, website for Time for Tea Designs so that you can just have a look and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. And if you're anything like me, you're going to be absolutely in love 
with their designs. And I will definitely be buying a lot more in the future because I think this is going to be one of my new all time favourites. And if I just open one of the packets, because I haven't even opened them yet, I've literally just, I've had them since last week. This is the first time I've had chance, what with work and life getting in the way. This is the first time I've had chance to come on here and show you. But this is also the first time I've actually had to, had a chance to unpackage them. So if I can just show you one of the stamps. They're very, very clingy, which is good. I know that whichever stamping platform you use it's it's not going to fall off and they've got lovely deep impressions there with the photopolymer it's really good quality it's nice and thick it's not thin or flimsy it's nice and thick sorry if that's blurring a little bit but they are they're a very good quality and just in case anybody's wondering i am not endorsed in any shape or form by Time for Tea Designs. Um, I don't get paid for saying nice things about them or anything. I've just discovered them and I also discovered that they've got a fabulous custom service as well. Um, nothing is too much trouble. So I really couldn't high recommend them higher. So um, pop along to the website and have a look. And uh, if you like what you've seen today, um, from my channel then please click subscribe perhaps give me a thumbs up and if you would like to find out when I'm uploading another video just click the notification bell so until next time please take care and as always happy crafting <laughs>